just I guess the, the, this team's lack of willingness to let the season get away, even when I think it was losing 12 to 13, kind of at its lowest point there. What was it about this team and this group specifically that maybe didn't let it get away? I think we we knew how good we could be and how good we are, and we knew we couldn't we couldn't let us, our team down like that. We couldn't go out like that in the season. I know you guys don't like to use injuries as an excuse, but as you got healthier in February, it felt like things changed. Just what changed for you behind the scenes that maybe allowed you as a group to get better just on game days once you did start to get some of that health? Um, once we started getting uh, some of our guys back because it wasn't felt like everybody was getting hurt at one point, um, I think just having everybody in practice and seeing what, all the pieces that we have together, building our confidence as a team, and building that confidence made us play better eventually. Well, what happened to your calf tonight? Uh, I was going through it all night, but I, my calf ended up cramping up on the same uh, as my, my ankle that hurt, so it was just bad luck there, I guess. Devontae, for you individually, what can the last four weeks, or how you played the last four weeks, how can that, you know, how can you build off of that confidence and carry that over into the offseason? Uh, I think I just got to keep going. I can't uh, get comfortable. I got to stay consistent in my work, and um, I think it'll lead into a good season next year. I imagine you'll do more kind of breaking down just what worked and what didn't in, in the coming months, but as you think back over kind of reviewing the film of your performances these last few weeks, are there things you can kind of pinpoint that you can really take into the offseason in terms of what you can work on to, to just keep getting better? Uh, there's, there's always something that I think I can take from uh, my play to get better, and and um, I think just just, uh, just making decisions, certain decisions. You know, I gotta um, know my personnel better. I gotta, I want to say, make better passes, make smarter passes, and um, stay consistent throughout the season. That was one of my biggest things this season. Was just my, uh, I was wavering all season. You know, so being consistent, I think, is one of the biggest things. Yeah. What you learn from Jawar? Just uh, Juwan is a great leader. I think um, some of the things I can say from him is just how vocal he is with us. He's always, he's always uh, speaking his mind, what he thinks, and always listening, open to listening. And I think um, I can use that going into next year as a senior. This off season, what I mean, what's kind of going to be your goals in terms of just what you want to accomplish? Um, Off-season goals? Uh, that's a good one. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> it's a little early. Yeah. Were you surprised that, uh, that the uh, the tattoo stuff took off on social media? I, I am surprised. Because I've, I've had it for a while now. So, um, well, how last August. Last August. So, I mean, when someone recognized it and I put it out there, it was like everybody was like, whoa, it's crazy. Like, But, I, I, I mean, I didn't really get it for that reason. But, you know, it's cool that it, it did get some. And now I use using, like, the cheat code stuff on their social media. Do you think that you're getting the kick out of that? Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Monte, what do you think the difference was tonight? Uh, I think they were, it was just real tough, real physical with us. Um, we didn't get some things our way, but uh, I think they were just real physical with us. And on the boards, they, they crashed really hard.